My name is Yoan de Akiola. I work as an environmental services engineer for a company called Arab. I design water supply systems and buildings. I am all about creativity and product development for sustainable solutions in the water and energy sector. It's a very exciting time to be an engineer because people are beginning to realize that engineering is right at the heart of our survival. So it, I, feel, I feel like I'm contributing to, to world progress, being able to meet the needs of people in poorer countries and meet the needs of people here in developed countries. I recently spent some time in Mozambique working with uh, the barriers and working with them and interacting with them and trying to understand what exactly they need gave me a lot of satisfaction and a lot of motivation to carry on what I'm doing as an engineer because them having the right sanitation solutions mean they can worry less about their health and well-being and then come up with creative ideas to improve their lives. I am all about creativity. I really enjoy dancing. It's about being colourful, it's about letting your imagination just, you know, go wild. It's all about us regular people and what we love doing in our, in our spare time and bringing that into a career which is engineering. My name is Philippa Riddick, I'm 25 and I live in Chorley and I'm a manufacturing engineer on the JSF Lightning 2 at BAE Systems at Salisbury. My dad works at BAE Systems and my granddad used to work here when it was British Aerospace so I always knew about the apprentice scheme. The more I came to like 18 finishing my A-levels I decided it was the best route for me. I'm working as an improvement engineer at the moment and uh, that involves working with the, closely with the guys on the shops that build the aircraft, looking at problems they have on a day-to-day -day basis. The F-35 is an American aircraft, so there's three different variants, all built differently, all designed differently. It's really fulfilling when you're given a lot of responsibility to go out and look at the problems on the shops, and then you're basically tasked with finding a solution to that problem and implementing that solution, so there's a lot of free reign, a lot of responsibility, and a lot, a lot of pressure sometimes as well, because there's quite a tight delivery schedule. I've been playing ice hockey for six and a half years now. And I've represented GB and I went to Finland just this summer with England for a tournament. At the moment I train three times a week. It's just the people around you, you just see what they're doing and it kind of inspires you to do better. If I was lucky enough to win this Young Women in Year of the Year award, I'd be very honoured and I'd look to use it for encouraging a lot of young girls to get involved in engineering. I'm Roma Agrawal, I'm a senior structural engineer and I work at WSP Group. WSP Group is an engineering consultancy, so we cover all different ranges and disciplines of engineering in the built environment. The main project that I've been working on is the Shard at London Bridge. I designed the three metre thick concrete raft foundation which essentially holds the building up. And on the other end of the scale, I worked on the spire, which is the viewing gallery, and it's the steel structure at the very top of the building where millions of visitors will visit to have a look at the views of London. You really feel like you've made some kind of contribution to the London skyline, which is obviously one of you know, the big global cities in the world, and this has now become an icon for London. I think structural engineers should be given more credit than they are currently given. I think the architects are at the forefront of the design and the creativity and get a lot of credit for that, but structural engineering is also a very creative profession. As a hobby, I perform Bharatanatyam, which is an Indian classical dance. So after a day's work doing engineering and equations and you know the creativity involved with problem solving, it's great to go away and you know, experience a whole different form of creativity. Women coming into these subjects are pretty much guaranteed jobs for life. 
science is always moving forward, there's always great innovations happening, and so I think it's a very exciting field to be in. My name's Charlotte Tingley and I work for BA Systems. I started with the company when I was 16 and I was employed as a technical apprentice, gaining experience, qualifications and I'm here today, so six years with the company now. I work within the Eurofighter Typhoon pilot helmet production team, so I see the anomalies that occur during production, I try and eliminate them. Working on such extraordinary cutting edge technology is just fantastic to know that I'm actually a part of that. I'm working in a great production team and a great environment and we're working on the most advanced fighter pilot helmet in the world. You can look through the aircraft, you can see what's below you, you can see everything, which what we like to say is X-ray vision. Rather than having to engage the aircraft in combat, you can actually just engage your, engage your head. I've never been one of these people that just wants to be in an office and work behind the scenes. I wanted to be right on, hands on, and that's how I got into it. Last October, I was extremely lucky to go to Fiji for three months. We just started out in school and we ended up reading with the children, teaching them maths, and they learned English. You know, it's just taken on leaps and bounds. Fiji would be with me forever. Winning the uh, Young Women Engineer of the Year Award would actually mean that the last six years that I've put into this career of mine are being rewarded. It would just be fantastic. I'm Jessica Lee Jones. I'm an 18 year old astrophysics student currently studying at Cardiff University. I found university very different to when I was at school and when I was in college. We're not just learning to pass an exam anymore. These are things that we will use in the real world. They have applications outside of academia. I've recently been working on a project called Contraction Optical Monitoring System, or COMS. COMS was designed in association with Huntley Healthcare Diagnostics, who are a company based in Cardiff. We looked at redesigning their current model of fetal contraction monitor to make it cheaper or more accurate so that we could market to third world countries where they have limited or no maternal diagnostic equipment and also for expectant mothers to monitor their own contractions from the comfort of their own home. It was fun. We were working with limited resources and facilities, such as the equipment in my garage. Um, so it was challenging, but um, it was a really enjoyable project, and I think we should have some good benefits come of it. Me and my dad, we want to set up a limited company called Light Guide Systems Limited, just to protect the patent and hopefully start manufacturing and distributing the item there. Aside from university and engineering projects, I like to go to Shotokan Karate training. It keeps the balance. A lovely quote that I heard was from Theodore von Kahn, who was a 20th century aerospace engineer and physicist. He said, scientists discover the world that exists and engineers create the world that never was. So I think engineering is such an exciting career because it's completely limitless. 